Esters. This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shub. You're watching the 4 p.m. stock market update. I hope you all had a profitable day. Let's take a look at what we got going on. Of course, we have Microsoft and Meta earnings and the indices a little bit off from it. The composites off about 0.56%. Dow Jones Industrial off about 0.21. That dollar uh, still strong at 104. You have crude oil uh, kind of coming back up a little bit today, but we're under that $70 mark, which is kind of what matters on that. You have the E-mini off about 0.5%. 5% as it stands, gold contracts still extraordinarily strong, finishing right under that 2800 level. You know, when Basil Chapman comes on Tuesdays uh, and even during his show at 10 a.m. Eastern time right there on Tiger Financial News Network, he talks about like these round number ends. Now, this isn't a round number end, uh, but it's really interesting. You should check out his show and his newsletter as well and get a little bit better insight into what he's thinking when he sees stuff like that. You have uh, copper trading off about 0.02%. Really, we're flat right now at $4.35. And then silver still finishing down pretty strong in a divergence uh, with gold. It's somewhat unique to see. Of course, you have the rates coming back up today, uh, just slightly lucid, getting clobbered. You have VW, an even worse situation than they were prior. I'm sure that's probably bringing down Rivian. Not as bad as I anticipated. Interesting. Tesla kind of flat right now, off about 0.72%. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, that's kind of about it. We're going to wait and see what's going on with Microsoft after this. Uh, this is kind of a crazy story. You know, you know, we kind of went through the news on the last show and news, but Florida accidentally banned banks from doing business, which is hilarious. The lawmakers sought to make it easier for startups and other companies to fundraise while ensuring that bad actors with a criminal record couldn't take advantage of Floridians. This is nuts. The law appeared to ban any bank that had been punished by the SEC or other authorities from selling a range of securities to investors <laughs> and according to people familiar with the matter. Oof. They flagged the issue to the state and called Republican Governor Ron DeSantis' office. Uh, they paused uh, J.P. Morgan and Bank of America paused selling securities to anyone within the Florida touch point, which is just crazy. The road to hell is paved in good intentions. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. We'll be back tomorrow, 9 a.m. with Tommy O'Brien, followed by Basil Chapman at 10, Steve Rhodes at 11, Larry Pesvento at 1, and I will be back with Tim Ward at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll see you then.